people, it's pretty insane. Um, well, it has come to the time of night now where we got to say goodbye. Before we do that, I just have a few things that I'd like to say. Obviously, it goes without saying, 14 years standing on a stage like this has been absolutely amazing. It's been something that we never imagined would happen to the four of us guys up here. And Brian, when he was a part of the band, I want to say a big shout out to Brian, we love him very much. And you know, we started this off just as a bunch of guys back in Ireland for a bit of fun. We never imagined we'd be here in the O2 14 years later, playing to four sold out nights. It's just unbelievable, guys. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, it has been an absolute pleasure. It has been something that I will never forget for the rest of my life. Playing here, playing everywhere, playing all over the UK, all over the world. It's just been absolutely incredible. And I just want to say thank you so, so much for making all that happen. I want to say a very quick shout out to my wife, Jodie, who's here tonight. And about five and a half months ago, we had a little boy called Koa. And it's so strange because as one journey ends, another journey begins. And myself and Jody, our journey has just begun. I love you very much, baby. You mean the world to me. I'm not going to say much more because I'm going to get choked up. I love you very much, London! asking for a refund. <laughs> no. Right, before I say a few thank yous, I want to thank our band on stage this evening. They've really, really put the effort into the whole tour so far. Um, and they really are very talented musicians. And I know probably the families are here tonight, so please, on keyboards, give it up for Mr. Mark Walker, everybody! Woo! On the guitar, electric guitar, it's Ben Joe! On bass guitar, the very smooth Freddie Thompson! <laughs> and hitting those cymbals loud on drums, Julian Brown, everybody! <laughs> what do you say after 14 years and you're playing your last ever London concert? I don't know what to say. It's been from the day we first came to London and they started recording songs, it just went up, got better and better and better. From the very first Wembley show we ever did, right through to, I think we did Docklands. Obviously when the O2 was built, we did here. And you guys have always, always been amazing every time we've come on stage. And the part, the part that I'm gonna miss the most is this right here, standing here, having fun with you lot, having the banter with you lot, and just having, you know, having the best time in the world. You've made all of our dreams come true. So I cannot thank you enough, London. There's a few very special people that are involved uh, in the show, and um, it's their last ever time to see us. They're not coming on to see the rest of the gigs. Um, a girl called Sarah Sherlock, who works with our agent John. I know she's here somewhere, so to, so to you, Sarah, thank you very much for all your hard work over the years. I'm gonna miss you. And to uh, Barry Clayman at Live Nation, who has always, always supported us right, right away through all of our UK gigs in the very, very beginning. And um, this is his last show as well to see us. So Barry, thank you very much. I don't know if he's, if he's standing there, is he Barry? Let's get, it, let's get him on screen, lads. Let's get Barry on screen. He's going, he said he's going to give us a present after the show. So, I asked him where he parked it. And I believe you haven't stolen it yet. So if anyone has a, a nice Lamborghini out in the garage, or in the car park, Barry probably nicked it to give it to us later on. Barry, thank you very much. That's it, London. It's been absolutely fantastic. I just want to say, on behalf of me to you, and to the three lads, 
Mark Shanahan, thank you very much. I'll see you around. I'll see you somewhere. <laughs> if you're on Twitter, I'll see you there. Good night. <laughs> God bless. Stay positive. Bye. Not London, I live here, so I'll see you tomorrow. Um, we've got a massive crew, and that's a crew that we bring on the road with us, and also the local crew here at the O2. Thank you so much to each and every one of them for working so hard. Um, there's one individual in here, a woman who probably had the hardest job you could possibly think of in the entire world, which is to try and make Westlife dance. <laughs> and that's a woman called Priscilla Samuels and she's one of our best friends and we love her very much. She's been with us since the very start and she does have a very difficult job in fairness but you know, we're getting there. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. So thank you Priscilla, we love you. Um, there's too many people to thank but thanks to everybody who's involved in putting this show on. There's some people, this is their first tour with us, some people have been with us since the very start. Thank you to each and every one of them. Um, I'd like to say hello to some of my friends and I've got some new friends, some old friends. Hi guys, you're very welcome. Um, and just from me to you, London, honestly, London was the first place we ever came to. We went to that man's studio over there and we recorded a song that we're about to sing uh, in a few minutes time. And it blew my mind, it blew all of our minds. Um, and that was the start of a long love affair with London. We've been here, we, uh, some of us live here now. Um, we've recorded an awful lot of our music here, you know, London is second home to us, so thank you so much. And you know what, you've also not just supported us with our music and our live gigs, you've also supported us through our individual ups and downs on a personal level, so you're our friends as well as our fans. Woo! Thank you so much, guys. Woo! London, we'll see you very soon. Lots of love, here's Shane Fyler. that everybody have fun in here tonight. Woo! That's good guys. Well it was our last London here and it's um, London's a very special place. As Mark said it was the first place we kind of came to from, from Ireland to hear our songs and as you know just looking back over 14 years it's been uh, it's been pretty incredible guys so it's just it's, a, it's an amazing feeling to stand up here every night and all these people look at you and sing your songs and scream your name and you know when we were kids we wanted to be pop stars you all made that happen, you know, you're still making it happen tonight, so thank you very much for that. It really has been a, a dream come true, as I say. I know there's some people here tonight, you know, might be your first time to see Westlife. There's some people here, it might be your 150th <laughs> time to see Westlife. But guys, I hope you walk away from here with a great memory of Westlife, you know, because we've had a great career, had amazing songs, had amazing fans. And, We've all done it together, you know, so it's everybody in here should be proud tonight, you know. It's, we're leaving on a massive high note, we're very, very happy. Um, I want to say hello to some of my family here tonight. My three kids are here tonight, Patrick and Shane and Nicole. Woo! Woo! Look there, some of my wife, Jillian. My brother, Finbar. Woo! He's looked after me my whole life. Wife and Brett. And Lena and Philip are here, my friends as well, so... Hope you enjoy the show, guys. Right, guys, the next song we're going to do... Uh, is a, an amazing song. We got this song about five or six years ago. We really needed a massive hit song. And uh, our manager, Louis, tried to get us to do it for a while, but we eventually agreed to. So we want everyone to get out your camera phones or get out your little flashlight app. This is the most amazing arena, guys, in the world to look out at. So we want to look out at a starlight sky. This will be our memory of London. Please sing along. This is called You Raise Me Up. 